so I, I, this is a pick I've picked many times before, but they've got a new program out today that I really like, and it's 1Password. I know some people use LastPass, some people use other things. Whatever you use, this kind of stuff is awesome. Uh, a few months ago, they rolled out 1Password Teams, which would let you share passwords with other people in your company, and people started asking for a version of that for families. So today they launched 1Password Families. So I think it's like five bucks a month, and everyone in the family gets a copy of one password and you can choose which passwords you keep just for you and which passwords you share with the family. And this has been a really big problem. We get a lot of mail about this kind of thing because people, you know, they like the Netflix password and there's a bunch of passwords that they just for convenience sake, they don't want to leave out in the open, but they do want everyone to have access to. And with this, you know, they're on many, many different platforms. So if you have a, a mixed technology family, it works really, really great. You just get one password, you store all your passwords for everything that's important. The ones that are just for you, you keep in your sealed vault and the ones that your whole family needs access to uh, you put in the family vault and that way now how do i get that because i i want to do that it's a subscription so i believe is it an it's upgrade? a subscription oh okay there's, yeah so there's a if you go to the one password blog um they have a there a, a big article on it this morning that went up that explains sort of the process because this is far, really really a great thing to have LastPass has has sharing as well and you need that uh, because you exactly as you say, some stuff's yours, but you, but the Netflix password, my son's always asking me to text it to him. I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the, in some well, families, the kids are old enough, and you want one, like you want everyone to know the iTunes password. Right. Just, there's certain and things. I want my wife to have access to all my stuff, my accounts. Yep. It's the easiest, safest way to do that. So that's great. Five bucks a month. That's great. And then if you update it because there's some problem with it and it says you have to update the account, then she, she'll she know about it immediately. It'll be updated in her vault too. She won't have to call you, oh, did you change the password? Right. Or get afraid that something's happened. Someone's trying to hack the account. It just makes life better for everybody. You know, the thing that can that's really convinced me in 1Password, it, the, the, all, almost all the other vaults keep a, track, keep a copy of your vault on their servers because it's more convenient. Uh, and one password is one of the few that and like the open source key pass that that let you put the vault where you want to have it. So it's not on their servers. It's on whatever. You, and I so I keep it on. Uh, well, not only on my secured Samsung, but on my on a highly secured cloud. That's my own cloud. Uh, and of course, it's always encrypted anyway. So even if somebody got it and that I think that really lowers the attack surface, because instead of saying, oh, gosh, we'll just go to the password vault company and download everybody's vaults and just hammer on them yep. they'd have to go one they'd have to attack you they'd go onesie twosie figure out where your vault is and download it and i think that that's really good now on the other hand that their android support uh, i wish it were a little bit better uh, but well they're a long time mac company who sort yeah. of realizes they have to be everywhere yeah. so that's like the growing pain is that they're moving to i've talked platform. to them i said look you got to yeah. support this new op vault this that's the only thing missing by the way you got to support the op vault uh, format for android uh, I mean, you can use their Agile Vault, the old Vault. Agile Bits is are they Canadian? Yeah, they're from Toronto. They're uh, uh, Ralstom and Dave. And what I like to say, they're super responsive. They're always at WWC. They're always at these places. And like the fingerprint technology comes out. And now one password on my phone is better than my Mac because you press the action. I know, I love that. One pulse web pops up. Press your thumb on it. Yeah. It authorizes you. Fills the password, and you're done. It's yeah, just, it's great. Yeah, it it supports the Android fingerprint too. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I, and they yeah. have an SDK, so apps can actually add it in because some apps don't give you access to share sheets or any other way to access that sort of uh, a trigger. But they can put a little one password button on there, and then you just press that, and you're in again. I I also uh, love it that you can um, uh, keep uh, keep uh, keep the vault. So I keep the vault in my private store that no one else can get. But if you want, there's a you could have your phone log into that. Or you can do Wi-Fi syncing, which yeah, I think it's, is it's really great. interesting. Because and I, they have a service called Watchtower, and I go through this uh, every year. It shows too. you, yeah, yeah, it shows you all your your weak passwords. It shows you duplicate passwords. Yeah. It shows you passwords from companies that have had attacks in the last year, and they might have gotten your password even if you weren't notified about it. And then just every every couple of months, I do a security audit and update all that stuff. It, it's great. Yeah, I love seeing competition now. Uh, yeah. because it, the, all of them are getting better and better all the time, and I'm, uh, I think it's really good. And I have to say, uh, if you're not using LastPass, 1Password is definitely it. And actually, I'm starting to think maybe 1Password is the way to go here. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I've used to use, I used to use uh, Apple Keychain for all my like secure notes and secure passwords, uh, and that was the last Apple app that I, I realized that I don't want to stand – I don't want to standardize a – a, a really big uh, resource on uh, one certain simple platform. I switched to one password and I've not regretted it one moment. It's just yeah. really, it's, it's so easy use, to use. 
I could use Keychain because I only I only have Apple technology. But what I don't like is that there's no there's no master password which one password offers. So you're like yeah. you have to put in a thumbprint or a password to get access. With Apple Keychain, they just assume that once you've unlocked the device, that's right. fine. And I I might be someone on the street going, "Help! I'm locked out. I need to call my mom, and I want to be able to give them my phone without giving them my credit cards, my password." Right. All those right. Yeah, I I have been uh, I've been very impressed. I have to say, very very impressed. Um, and you know, I have to say, I've been looking at it after uh, LastPass got uh, acquired. And the simple fact that LastPass has my database on their servers and one password does not, I think yeah. by itself is probably a good reason to switch. And if you're worried, like of convenience, it's so important. Like you can put it on iCloud, you can put it on Dropbox. They, they give you all those sorts of options. So it just depends on your comfort yeah. level and what you want that's in terms right. of security and yeah. convenience. I keep it on my uh, file transporter. That's that. Mm -hmm. That's the personal cloud thing. Uh, and no one has access to that. That's encrypted in transit, encrypted at place. And it's in my office and it's at my home and they sync, yeah. but it's never in the cloud. Um, and I think that works pretty well.